It's Avelina Damora here and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would film a little video that's very close to my heart. It's on my book, <laughs> the limited edition version of my band's album. So if you don't know, I am the singer of <laughs> that band right here as Angels Bleed. <laughs> And um, I don't know why we always are coming up with this number 200 <laughs> with everything I do, but there are only 200 of these in existence. You might have recently seen Black Friday mention this on her channel. I think it was the video of her yearly favorites and also two of my favorite um, YouTubers, Vessel of Blood. Heather is lovely. Hey, Heather. <laughs> and um, Sarah Monster. She is so gorgeous. I don't understand why her channel isn't fucking massive. But anyway, those two lovely ladies, um, were kind enough to review my book so go and check out their um, channel and their review after watching this video so this book is like five years of my life it has every single vampire artwork that i've done to date along with my band's album so what i thought i would do today is just kind of talk through the pages with you um, and narrate you know my memories of actually creating the artworks and share that with you because I realized that I kind of didn't do that I I made a little release video on it but I think I was in the recording studio or the, the rehearsal studio with the band at the time um, closer to the year that this was released so 2013 and um, I think I was just like hey it's out you know really proud of it yay <laughs> and that's kind of all I did so I thought I should go into more detail and kind of share um, my thoughts like a little behind the scenes on this gorgeous book. So it's on faux leather. The logo here was created by myself. I, I probably spent seriously maybe close to two months and that's a lot like pre-children spending two months on anything is like massive and when I work on something I work on nothing else until I get it finished. I'm a little bit OCD like that. Um, so yeah that logo was created by myself and um with Bun's input, of course. I get his input on everything. Oh, cool lighting. <laughs> um, so the cool thing that some people haven't noticed is that, oh, where are we here? It's the A and the B. I've made mirrored reverse, almost, but it's very tricky to get an A and a B to look similar. So <laughs> let's just appreciate that for a second. So you've got A and then like as angels bleed, obviously I was able to change that into a B. I don't know what that's called, but it's like the Kat Von D metal mat where you switch it upside down and it it reads different words. Someone comment below and tell me what that's called. Um, and also the upside down A, or it looks like a B here, but if you turn it this way, you get another A. So it's a very intricate logo. So yeah, even before you open it, it's a gorgeous looking book. Um, and I do sign these as well. So if you wanted to pick one up from my online store, um, I do sign the opening page, <laughs> which looks pretty blank without, without the signature. So obviously it comes with my band's album, which has some really cool artwork on it as well. So there's another little cross that I made. And that kind of geometrical shape is basically just like, versions of the logo that's on the front that are just piled on top of each other. I really enjoy um, doing that to make different logos, if that makes sense, or different designs from a logo that already exists. Yeah, I'm rambling. Okay, so <laughs> let's open the book up. Okay, I haven't looked at this in ages, so it'll kind of be like a first reaction um, with you. So the first page, I've got to watch the glare of the camera there is just a shiny glossy version it's really thick gsm paper from i think it's like 280 or something like that it's really it's more like artboard paper than paper so yeah three-dimensional artwork here we have uh, nothing that interesting but the credits i gotta figure out how to hold it the credits on this page <clears throat> and this is the album cover <laughs> the first page that you're seeing here this is one of my favorite vampire artworks to date. A lot of people think it's me, it's not. <laughs> Thank you for thinking so, because she's just gorgeous. As I always say, I am not that well endowed. <laughs> I wish I was, but I'm not. 
Um, and she wasn't either, <laughs> no offense. <laughs> anyway, she was just a gorgeous model to work with. And she had to hold, <laughs> these are the stories I want to share with you. She had to hold that damn candelabra. That was like solid brass. It was heavy. And it was also like the candles were actually lit. So it was dripping hot wax all over her. <laughs> um, so she endured a lot of pain and suffering. Um, but as you can see, it was well worth it. Um, so there's a lot of editing. I, I, this video will go for hours if I actually, actually go into the detail of the post editing. But um, to give you an idea of what was re digitally redrawn, um, obviously I've enhanced her, her, uh, <laughs> her what? endowments. What are you, her boobs? Let's just go with boobs. Um, the eyes, the makeup. It was just a wig that she was wearing because she had blonde hair at the time. So I had to redraw her fringe to make it nice and neat. I've redrawn the blood to make it three dimensional. I'm not sure if that's showing up on the camera. Um, I re-highlighted all of the blood on her hands and it annoyed me that she's wearing a gorgeous little eye ring, like an eyeball ring and it was like turned sideways. So I just changed that. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that, you know, just goes into making a very, very, neat and nice artwork i you guys know i love symmetry um so that's very important to me okay so turning over to the next page we have a double spread of a very sexy looking band look at that oh! so that's my husband isn't he gorgeous oh my god guitarists are so sexy <laughs> i'm allowed to talk like that because we're married ladies back off <laughs> um, that's me yay <laughs> um, that's me with hair extensions because at the time I was stupid and chopped off my hair um, and yeah <laughs> I wanted long hair for the photos so there's Frankie um, drama live drummer at the time and mr. savage there our bass player look at these abs people absolutely crazy all the jewelry that they're wearing by the way all those crucifixes they're mine because <laughs> they didn't own any <laughs> so i'm like hey i got like 500 so just wear some of mine um yeah okay so on to the next page oh here is the track listing as well so the idea was that when you buy this book you get to listen to the album and then go through the pages of this book as you're listening to it so it was definitely created with the conceptual idea that you would also have this book in hand um, and look at the two at the same time. Yeah, so they are a set. The pages are actually foiled as well, silver. I'm not sure if that is coming. There we go, see that? So yeah, it's very glamorous. Okay, on to the next page. We have some live shots. I love these photographs. These were actually done in the studio, taken, um, I like Bond took photos of myself. Um, the same kind of setup that I would use for my, for my artworks as well. So the whole band, like I took the photo of Bon, Bon took the photo of me. Um, and then on the next page, I believe it will be, yeah, more photos of guys doing their thing. <laughs> it's funny when Frankie's in the middle there, so it, <laughs> it looks funny at an angle. Yeah. Mr. Savage is ripped. Look at that, ladies. <laughs> it's my husband, Bon. <clears throat> okay, now we get into the art. So this is called Vampires of Rookwood. Um, this was actually the first vampire artwork that I did and I kind of thought, well, if I'm going to make artworks, what would the content be? Like, I don't want to paint fruit bowls. Not that there's, there's anything wrong with that. I don't want to paint flowers. What am I into? I'm really into gothic things. I'm really into vampires. I adore vampires. So I'm like, well, I'm good at Photoshop, let's try to do that. And all the fangs that you're going to see people, I don't use, up until the, the shoot that I did with Riri, I don't know why I changed, but we did use the Scarecrow, the fake vampire fangs and actually attach them to her. But every single artwork in here is dig digitally drawn. Um, so even the fangs, she would just, I would get her to snarl. Okay, and then I will draw in i'm trying to get the fangs in there we go in photoshop and add the highlighting and stuff like that um i've always said i thought it works better than actually using um proper fangs but <laughs> the shoot with riri was hella easy um because she had them there all the time but yeah i don't know i, I enjoy drawing them in okay so this one is one of my favorite artworks <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say that every time, but no, it was a lot of fun to shoot. So that's me on the bottom there. <laughs> there we go. It's my really short hair. That was quite a few years ago. 
Um, <clears throat> I love fluoro green, if you know me. I love fluoro green and black. I love typo having those colors like forever. Um, so what you're seeing here is the, the song, and then on the next page you'll have like the song lyrics for that song. It's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> um, but yeah, this artwork is called Love, Death, and What Lies Beneath. Um, it's a it's cut down version of it. The whole entire artwork is actually a lot bigger and you don't get to see the the little gothic church that's kind of in the background there. It's kind of hidden. Um, and the original version is a lot more colorful. I just kind of turned it down and went with plain, um, more like a black and green color scheme here. Um, but yeah, that's <laughs> one of my favorite artworks. <laughs> you can't love them all. Okay, next one. Yeah, this one. <laughs> this is my favorite. <laughs> oh god, it's funny. So that's my good friend Oliver Fogwell as a vampire and my other good friend Natalie. They were a lot of fun to shoot together. Hey guys, hope you're watching my videos. You better be. So Oliver is, um, I've done a lot of work with him um, musically. I'm sorry, I'm looking at the LCD, not at the camera. He is in a really cool band, Our Last Enemy, so I'll link them below in the description. But um, if you've got our album, you would have heard um, his male vocals scattered through a few songs on the album. And Natalie's just gorgeous. She's got a little boy the same age as Steel, so yeah. Got some bats up there and the lyrics to Sinfully Yours. And again, this was a very colorful artwork. This one is, I think, called In Mortal Sin, the artwork. Um, but again, I changed the color scheme. Kind of um, wanted to make the book really, like, even more special than just, I could have just popped all of my artworks in as they were, but I wanted to kind of recreate them without changing them too much. So hence the different color schemes. Okay, here we have, um, what did I call this one? I think this one's Wolfman. Again, you guys know my love for type of negative, so <laughs> I don't need to explain that here. The Streets of Aberdeen. So this is a poem that my husband Bon wrote. So he's a very talented um, poet, if you guys didn't know that. Um, and that, yeah, is a um, werewolf artwork. I really like werewolves as well, like vampires, werewolves, lichens. Oh, I wish all of those things were real. Wouldn't the world be such a better place? Okay, on to the fiery artwork. This one, I think I was actually pretty boring and called this, this artwork Desire, but yeah, pretty cool girl with blood this very much reminds me of the fight like besides the color schemes being like warm and like fiery <clears throat> if i did a blue version of this this reminds me of oh i can't remember her name but the princess that ends up dying in underworld in possibly the third underworld the really like cold looking one with dead straight hair you guys know the one i'm talking about um anyway she reminds me of her and that was kind of inspired by that fight scene in that movie I do like to have an idea in mind before I actually arrange a specific shoot for a vampire artwork. I try to have some kind of inspiration rather than just, you know, shooting blanks, <laughs> so to speak. Okay, this one again was very, um, very inspired by that fight scene in Underworld and that's a lot more visible with the color schemes in this one with the cool blues um, and the shimmery kind of, you know, that could be like flame embers in the background or snow, whatever you, you want to imagine it. That's what I like about art. You know, you can look at this and you can see something that I don't see and that's fine. It's supposed to make you think and go, hey, what's going on there? That's the whole definition of art, isn't it? To make you think. <clears throat> okay, this one is very captivating. I have no idea what this one's called. Um, I know that when I first, first, first contacted Drek Makins, I wanted to send her one of my artworks and this is the one that she picked. Yeah, but I cannot remember. I've got so many artworks, I can't recall the name of them. <laughs> so, so yeah, very bloody. <laughs> okay, and there, there's, I think, two artworks that have topless women. So when I get to those pages, because I don't know where they are, I'll just, like, blur them out, you know, keep it G-rated for, um... <laughs> for YouTube. That's me! <laughs> Can you see the resemblance? What if I snarl? Yeah. Yeah, that's me. It's me with bloody tears. Pretty cool, huh? I love the reflection. See that? The reflect like I'm I'm in a pool of blood. Like literally. And then the reflection in the water. It's gorgeous. So that yeah has the lyrics to I drown. 
next page okay so this is um the male model here is flux he lives in tasmania um so he won a competition to be in one of my artworks and he was a lot of fun to work with he was like really like a hardcore goth so it was very easy to work with him because he got the aesthetic he was into vampires himself i i didn't <laughs> have to tell him to do anything he just got it you know so it's it's a lot um it makes my job a lot easier if i'm working with people that um you know goth isn't halloween it's every day you know halloween every day see so yeah, that one's really sexy like it's just bit in her and she's you know all dead and shit the suicide of crystal clear so that's another poem here i uh, oh, have no idea what i called that one but yeah very cool Giving flames, a whole bunch of flames everywhere, taking myself too literally. Here we go again. <laughs> one of my one of my favorite. But this one really is. This is the the exorcism of Lucy Western Row. Look at the detail. I loved what I did with her eyes there. So she's got the fiery eyes. And then all that. It's like she's just been turned. Again, if you know Dracula, Francis Ford Coppola's version. Um of that's the, the movie, the actress that played um, Lucy, that's where I got inspiration from, minus the, the fiery red hair that that actress actually, actually has. Um, so this would be the scene where, you know, she's died, she was buried, and then they come in and find that she's not in her coffin because she's alive. And um, yeah, that was completely inspired by that scene from the movie. Over here we have Driven to Flames. Driven to Flames. She break into song. Okay, so here we have Flux again, and my friend Rhiannon. I love that one. There's a really, there's, I don't know, it's like a magical moment in there. Like, he's so nasty and vampiric. I'm not, nah, that's probably the wrong word. Let's say monstrous. He's monstrous. And she's just looking at him with complete love, adoration. I love that. So please bite me. Do something to me. <laughs> okay, Lumiere. Oh, there's me again. So this one, um, I didn't realize it at the time, but it's very similar to an album cover of Cradle of Filth. Um, I hadn't even seen it at the time, but yeah, a few people have said, hey, that's kind of similar. And um, yeah, not intentional. Just one of those things that happens. Um, that's the lyrics to Lumiere. Ooh, okay, I will, I will keep that skill um, still so I can blur that out. So this one is called Angel of Death. <laughs> it's pretty bombastic. I love how I've edited her eyes. Again, these artworks people are available. All of these are available in my online store on massive canvases. Even this little book does not do them justice. So if you're looking for some gothic art to you know, decorate your house with, um, head to my online store and check them out. So this has as below, now so above. That's another poem that Vaughn wrote and these are my two beautiful friends they're such a beautiful couple so this is Chris Poison and Blake Blood I think his name is her husband they flew up all the way from Melbourne to work with me quite a few years ago and that's a digital drawing of a crow obviously <laughs> I love worth dying for so this artwork is called Immortal Beloved it's also available on pendant um, on a pendant and on canvas as well and this one is called Carpathian Kiss. Also looks stunning. <laughs> this is available on a few merchant, um, a few different pieces of merchandise actually. This is available on male and female t-shirts, so go and check them out at my online store. Um, I made this yellow for the book, but it's more um, blue on the merchandise. Yeah, I love that one. Look at the intensity. I love how he's just like, oh, just like. It's so animalistic, just turn the neck and bite into it. Carfax Abbey, so you've got the, the actual, you know, church of, or a, a gothic archway behind this girl who's just been turned very, very violently by the look of it. Maybe she's just had her first feed or again, it, it it leaves it kind of leaves you wanting which is nice and it just makes you come up with your own story hey dracula the count <laughs> this artwork is completely digitally drawn so i'm very proud of this one because 
I I don't know. I didn't study drawing or anything like that. I just look at these. I just knew what I wanted. And then there's Castle Dracula in the background. This one's available on canvas. Sadly, it hasn't been too popular. I don't know why. A lot of my other artworks sell a lot better than him, but I like him. Ugh. Yeah. This one's called Till Death Do Us Part. Skulls, blood, and candles. What more could you want? Um, Death's Lament. So there's another poem. To edit out the nipples. Whoops. So that artwork is Queen of the Damned. And this is introducing Bloody Kisses, track number eight <laughs> of our band's album. And then you've got a double page spread of the same artwork that was at the front again. This one entitled As Angels Bleed because it is the album cover of um, yeah, my band's debut album. If you haven't heard us, go and check us out. It's a pretty impressive piece of merchandise considering this was to go with the first album that we were going to release. But that's so Avelina Demore style, like first album. <laughs> um, no EPs, no demos, straight to a full length album released with a limited edition leather bound, silver foiled, 60 page. <laughs> that's so me. Yeah, so this one I really like because it's like she's um, maybe in the Transylvanian or Carpathian forest or something and she's cutting herself. Maybe she needs to turn someone really quickly. You've got the little trees in the background there and the snow. Again, this is only a little snippet of a bigger artwork, which looks so cool on canvas. Um, I've got to get a few of them framed and I will be hanging them up in my house and bedroom and just so you guys can see what they look like. This is my Countess Elizabeth Bathory take. Um, if you don't know about her story, she used to bathe in the blood of young virgins because she thought that it would um, give her immortality and youth. Um, cool story, hey? So that's my take on Countess. I'm actually, <laughs> how we did that in my old house was we filled our bathtub with a bucket load of tomato sauce and red food dye. <laughs> I was pink for days, people. The things we do. For art, hey. So here you've got Countess Elizabeth Bathory. Yeah, I love the strength of the gaze there. Here's another one that I will have to bleep out, or I could just <laughs> put my fingers there. <laughs> so this one again um, has a lot of digital drawing in it. Um, her hair was blonde in the photo shoot, um, so I've redrawn her hair, which was an absolute bitch to do. And um, yeah, you've got like the city of London in the background there with um, the, the big Ben Tower and yeah, Europe is so beautiful. Like <laughs> what am I going to use in Australia? Like the Harbour Bridge or the Opera House there? <laughs> Not really relevant to the kind of artwork that I'm doing. So here's another one with the same models you saw before. I elongated his ear and made him look very gaunt. He already was quite thin. I love how he's gripping her neck there. It's very nice. Immortalis Singularis, another poem. We're getting to the end now, people. Favorite colors again, look at that. <laughs> I love the cross on her forehead. She's just got an arm sitting there that she's biting into for a bit of brunch. And at the end, we have the main art or photo, I should say, that was released on the standard version of the um, album. And our logo, some more credits for the models and things like that. And this very back page is a whole bunch of photos of, um, of actually my fans. I forgot what was on there, I had to look at that. Yeah, it's a whole bunch of photos of people that had already purchased my art, be it like canvases or clothing or things like that. And yeah, I put that in there as a little thank you. So it was uh, like some people have got tattoos of my art. So it's just a nice collection of photos there. There's some photos of the band, Bon and I, all of our singing vocals. So yeah, that was a really nice way for me to end the book. Um, yeah, so that is a little look with me at <laughs> my most prized possession. So if you are in to art, if you like vampires, um, if you like Gothic symphonic metal, check it out. I'm happy to sign a copy for you. Again, it is limited. So once we sell out, 
or they'll never be made again. To clarify, I might, if um, if it's really popular, I might get like a, a, I don't know what they call it, like a paperback version of it made or something, but it won't be leather bound and silver foiled and all the fancy things won't be there. Um, it'll still come with the album or maybe it won't, I don't know, but <laughs> if you want one of these, head to my store and um, they're $49.95 now when they first came out, I think they were $60 or $70. Um, so just because it's a few years later, the price has gone down. So yeah, go and grab yourself the bargain. Leave a comment below if you've enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what you think of my art. Remember to share this video, like it and comment on it. I hope you've been enjoying my videos. I've got quite a lot of new videos um, that I need to edit and get online for you guys. But now I need to sleep because it is probably about midnight and I haven't seen my husband all night. So I'm going to spend some time with him before we crash and the kids wake us up at 7 a.m. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon.